it's a siloxane material, actually. It's a very thin film, so the column itself is only usually around a quarter of a millimeter wide, so that's the inner diameter. And the film coating is very thin, it's less than a micrometer. Um, and so you can think of it as a, as a alternating, a film that alternates of silicon and oxygen atoms. But depending on what compounds we're interested in analyzing, one can buy specific columns with specific films um, that have um, substituents. So say you have every fifth atom is, has an additional carbon atom or larger carbon molecules. And by adjusting the film um, this way, one can get different optimum separations for different compounds. Um, so this is true for most columns. There are a few columns around that are used to analyze very polar molecules, so like fatty acids. And they are based not on silicone or siloxane, but on um, polyethylene glycol.